hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to animate this using red motion pro in blender i saw this video from cg dive how to animate halloween monster in blender and i'm going to show you how to do the same animation using red motion pro i will leave this video link in the description if you want to go and watch it from cg dive so yeah i'll show you how to do that using red motion pro so here yeah, i have already rigged the character okay the skeleton character i have already rigged it in mizamo and i'm going to import it into blender so let me go here and uh, i'm going to far import and this one i'll use remote simple fbs import use this one to import your mizumo card so here i will navigate to where i have it and i'm going to select and import it and i don't have the textures back because here we don't have the textures so i'll select all the cutter parts and i'll shift select this and press ctrl plus l and link my materials and now all the material from this will come to this one so right now i can hide the original one okay so let me select this guy and so let's go to the remotion tab here and now when i click and reset the post you can see this one character rest post is what is a post so yeah let me choose source as mizamo and i'm going to assign it here and yeah let me load working for example and i'm going to load this when i load working i can see the hands food because the rest post of this character is a post so we can just go here and use the virtual t post to face the folding arms and it's going to look better so if you don't want to use the virtual tipos anytime you load admission what you have to do is just go to settings assign your rank here and choose this amizamo and then just import your amizamo reference and click automate and here we can just apply this as the rest right now when i load admission i don't need to use the virtual tipos and everything works fine so that's the first thing you have to do i go to the cg dive here i can see the first step the cutter was in idle if you can see is an idol and then it start doing zombie walking animation and then it stop and start dancing okay let's see okay so there's three animation when you check the video you can see you downloaded three miserable animation zombie idol zombie walking and trailer dance you can just search for zombie zombie walking here and you can just download it from here we have this zombie walking you can just download the animation from here and come and use it in remotion you already have some there so you don't need to download it so i just go to zombie i'll search for zombie and i'll go down here and i have the zombie walking and i have zombie idol so i'm going to choose the zombie idol and i can load this animation and you can see we have the idol zombie doing the idol animation so here i don't have the trailer dance here okay, when i search i don't have it in here okay so what i will do is i'll go to retargeting and you can just download the trailer dance animation from here or we can just go to set path and set to mizamo and here i can search for the thriller here and i have the thriller dance three this is the path three. i'm going to import it in here and this is the dance animation i want so i'm going to set the source to the rig i just import and i'm going to set the target to my mizamo character and here i'll go to fetch list and aut automatically fetch the list and i'm going to set the root bone here and bind the constraint and now i can see my character is doing that dancing animation in here so i'm going to bake this one and save them into my library so i can use them in the animation tab here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on make and let's wait for it to bake now it has finished baking okay so right now i can select the imported brick and delete it now we have the animation on our rig. so here i'm going to export it into my library okay, so let's go to the custom library and here i'll choose this amazing character and i'll choose the action when you if you want to see the action name let's go to the top sheet and go to the action editor and here you can see the active action is called trailer part three so i'm going to search for ta and there's the one there's the correct one so i want to export this action into my lab so i'm going to choose name for it and i'm going to import render and i have it here i'm going to export this one into my library okay, so i'm going to save this and then click on export before we export make sure you have a you have saved your scene so i'm going to press shift as s to okay so here i have saved my scene and i'm going to export it 
now it has finished exporting this one into our library so if i want to check to see the library if i want to check all i have to do is go to category and go to mizamo because we save for mizamo and here you can see it here a quarterly part three mizamo and the image we to save it here so this is what we have so here i'm just going to select and reset all the rate i'm going to delete all the animation now let's go to timeline and i'm going to start loading the animation here i'm going to load zombie idol so what i will do is i'll search for zombie and let's go to all categories and i'll go to zombie idol and i'm going to load it here so here we can see when it start the zombie was in idle and then straight to walking so that's what i'm going to do so you can see we have the marker here the zombie handle and on frame 147 so i'll go to frame 148 and i'm going to load zombie walking so here's zombie walk i'm going to load this one and we can see we have the zombie walking so once this one end the zombie walking is going to continue but you can see here we have jump here okay we have jump here so what i can do is just go to post mode and then select all your posts let's go to let's go down here and i'm going to blend and you can choose how many keyframe i want to use to blend maybe four or five so i'm going to choose and let's see so now we have smooth transition to the walking i can increase it and just blend it again let's see so here we have the idle so we're going to do the idle here continue on the idle and then start walking let me add ground plane here so we have it working for it if i want to co make it continue working i can just go to where this one end and then i'm going to load the working again okay so i'll go up and click on load and here we see a snap back to its root position so what i will do is i'll go to where it snap back to the root position and just click on recall and it's going to continue from where it ends so we will have continue working so here idle from the idle to working and it's going to continue working do the working and work so i can just go here and load idol or that dancing animation in here but before i load the dance animation let's say i want to change the working direction i want to change the working direction i can just go to where i want to change the direction so i'll just go here maybe and go to cut a direction and i'll click on add director and i'm going to change the direction so that the cutter will face maybe here and i'm going to click on apply and this one i can use two keyframes or three keyframes to blend the transitions okay so let's go here so let's see so now we see that it turned to this side and now it's working facing that direction i can just go there and add director again so let's see what we have so you change the direction and you change the direction again so this is what we have so i'm going to load the dancing animation okay so let's go to where this one end and i'll go to uh, i'll go to the mizamo let me delete the search and here i'll go and load this one so there's the the trailer dance okay so i'm going to load it when i load i can see a snap back to the root position so what i will do is here the keyframes are money so make sure you increase your end frame so that it can count to this part so i'm going to increase this one to maybe five and just click on recall and now see it's moving to where we have this one but it faced different direction it has faced different direction so i'm going to rotate so that it can face here okay it can face this direction so what i'm going to do is let me go here where it fit this direction and i'm going to add director and what i'll do is go back one frame and i'm going to add my theory case here and now i'm going to rotate to align the position so that rotate it so that uh the leg will align to the theory case and i'm going to position also to this side so i can go back one frame to see if it's match so let's go back one frame go forward so we have you can use the location to match it where I think this one is okay. This one is okay. So go. Now let's click on apply direction. Direction. So this one I will use the blending. I'm going to set the blend to zero and click on OK. And that's all. So let's see. 
jump so what i'll do is i'll select the bone and let's go to post mode i'll select all the bones here and i'll go to the blending i'm going to use this one to blend okay so let's say maybe i'll use five frames to blend and let's see now we have the dancing so here we have the idol we're going to do the idol here and i'll start walking changing the direction okay and i'll stop and start dancing so what you can do is you can just go here also load another idol or walking animation so i'm going to load idol to here so go and look go to all categories and look for zombie so i'm going to load zombie idol and click on load and that's what we have so i'm going to click on recall when we see transition here and go back to the idol now you can just go and add so many animation to it as you want so you have the idol and i'll start walking change the direction and change the direction again and start walking start, start the dancing okay so So once you reach it, let's go back to the idol. So that is what you have. So thank you for watching. Did the same scene I have put in there. So here I have added the environment to this. And that is the same thing. If you want to learn more about Ray Motion Pro, there's a lot of features in here and they support auto rate, Redify, Mizamu, and Dazz Ray. Do so many things in here. The same thing if your character is auto rate, it supports. Okay, I can see you have the zombie animation. I can load it here. And if your character is auto rate or Redify, we have this feature called IKFK Snapping. You can just switch your character. Boom. Uh, post into ik or fk and you can later track it as you want okay so thank you for watching